flying with everybody together, flying over all the craters, that's something I'm never going to forget. Seeing this thing like, like nobody ever gets to really see it unless you're flying. through uh, this area and all I could see was the glacier and as I saw the, the glacier it was like a steaming ice cream cone with fog and I could see it from a distance and I was like oh I'd really like to go rip up through that fog and guess what we ended up doing we ended up flying up there and ripping up through the fog and then seeing like what the valley that we wanted to drop down into and we went around the fog and then spiraled down once we got down in there 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 was uh, steam coming up from all the little thermal pockets and stuff like that and we flew through the steam we ended up in this river crater or this river path. Yeah, buddy. Uh, that was sick. This is sick place. Yeah. Uh, the looks on people's faces as we landed, rolled up our stuff, and walked over to the hot springs were just like, I mean, it it makes you understand how unique this sport is because people's jaws are just down here. Like, did these guys really just fly in? And someone comes up to me and asks me where we came from and. You know, I told them from over the glacier on the other side and just the look on their face like, what? How did you do that? You didn't like jump out of a plane or anything? Like, no, 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 no. We, we, we flew from over there up and over to over here and them explaining to me how long it took them to drive there. And, I, and I'm just like, 12 hours. Yeah, and I, it took you guys 12 hours, and they're like, how long did it take you to fly here? I'm like, oh, it was about an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> Just landed out here at the hot springs. 
It's really pretty. Going for a dip. Got our motors over there. <laughs> Thank you. 